and I'm going to do a very brief demonstration on how to apply SDL machine translation to any project that you're working on in SDL Trotto Studio. So here I've actually started a brand new project and I would like to apply machine translation. In my specific example, I don't have a TM that I will be using, but machine translation applies as if you were going to add a TM. So you push the use button and there are two primary places where I could add my machine translation. The first one is through pushing the SDL language cloud button, which I will do so. And as soon as I do that, if I have, have a subscription, I will see that I can add my engine straight from here. So in this case, my project is only going into one language and I have one generic neural machine translation engine available. So I could select that here and this connection comes standard with SDL Trotto Studio. The other way how I could apply it is from using the SDL Machine Translation Cloud Provider app. Now this is currently available in the SDL App Store. If you go to the SDL App Store, it looks like this. And when you download it, just like any app, you do have to restart your instance of Studio. And then when you do so, then it will appear here. So I just click it and then you log in with the same credentials that you would use to access your SDL Machine Translation Cloud uh, account. And it's just that simple. And so when you've loaded it, it will appear here. And then really you just go through the rest of um, prepping your project. So in my case, what we will do is we will open up our project it's a very small project. And it depends on how you have your settings set. Mine currently are loaded so that when I click on each new segment, then it will translate. However, if I wanted to get everything translated all at once, I can do that from refining the settings that I have in the pre-translate batch task. So in this case, I just clicked on pre-translate files and so what you'll do and you can do this when you first start your project or you can do it as how i just did it which is actually doing this as a batch task within your file is under the pre-translate batch task if you click apply automated translation then what it'll do is it will pre-translate everything for you automatically so after pushing that button we'll finish we'll reopen our file and then what we should see is that it actually generates all of my segments with the neural machine translation. So you'll always know when it was successful if you see this blue NMT tag appear. And that's really all there is to it, really easy to connect to. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please let us know. Thank you.